Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on this beautiful day in another mod spotlight in Hearts of Iron 4. On our today's agenda, we are going to spotlight, well, a quite recently released mod on the 11th of April it came out and has been updated one time since called Pea Plant. So, Pea Plant or Pay Pay Land, whatever it is. It's actually from the same creator, which also created the mod, uh, I think it was called The Dictator, yeah, where you could play as Wadiya. Here you can play as Peep Land. So, as Peep Land. Let's see what the description has to offer. Peep Land is a new mod that adds to the nation of Peep Land, which has its own national focus tree and own events. The nation of Peep Land is located in Western Africa. The mod is still in its early stages, so there will be probably some bugs. Well, let's see that. Also, for, for anyone who wants to support me, feel free to do so while checking out my Patreon page. It would be greatly appreciated. You can choose from 1, 2, 5, 10 or 20 to our Patreon, so go through to check them out. So let's see. In the 1936 start, the nation will be called P Kikistan, actually. Uh, but it says, uh, actually as a comment, it's called Kikistan now when the nation is neutral or democratic, so the name will change. If we leave our neutral or if we leave our democratic path. So in 1939 it's the sign. So I would suggest you're playing with the 1936 start as always. Now let's get straight into the guy I'm playing on the regular. Let's not make things too easy. Okay, let's play recruit. Fine. <laughs> For the purpose of this spotlight. And with, let's say, without historical air focuses. We are gonna, well, let's take a strategic look onto our situation now. Which I can suggest you to do as well. So let's see, we are bordering Belgium, the UK and France, and all of these three nations will most likely stay democratic for the entire game. Therefore, declaring war on them would mean that you would uh, be in war with the entire allies, so I wouldn't suggest you joining the allies, no, no allies for you. So since, uh, well, the Axis has a foothold in Africa, with Italy and Ethiopia, it would, <coughs> well, make sense to go into the Axis, so to become fascist. You could also become communist, but then you would have no allies in Africa, which could possibly support you in the war against the French, British and Belgians, so keep that in mind. So, for this spotlight, we will go the fascist path, and we will uh, thoroughly analyze the uh, Pape Land's Focus 3. So, it is, well, quite, it's, it's not so huge, but it's about uh, decent, let's say the least. So, we will go for people and modernization than for peace in our time. No, we won't go bloody democratic. You can go for armed peace as well. So, before we go to war outside, let's heavily develop our industry. So, let's go for people and modernization, which will give us 3 times 75% research bonus for industry. 3 times, that's quite a bit. So, let's get that. 70 days it will take. Uh, Resource-wise, we need chromium. Let's get chromium from the British for now. Then we have so our industry is quite quite strong. We have twenty military, nine naval, and fourteen civilian factories. Uh, we have a current power of three manpower of two hundred eighty-one thousand, a current army of three hundred forty-three thousand. So strong enough already actually to take out the French and the British in this theater, and a population of twenty-eight point forty-seven million. Yeah, that's quite nice, but you know what, since here the French and the British do not have any colonies, it, would, it wouldn't simply make any sense to take them out yet, so let's develop our country, our provinces first. Yeah, I, uh, well, you should always have more civilian than military factories, so I will build more civilian, oh I can't because all of the slots are actually maximized out, so that's bummer. What I can do is I can maximize out our infrastructure as well. Yeah, I can maximize out our infrastructure. Let's do that. Especially here in this region. Since we'll be able to build some factories there. Alright. That's our plan. Uh, Industry-wise, yeah, let's go for industry first. Technology-wise, I mean. For the SRD, as always. And I wanna get, well, <coughs> some destroyers. Because I have plants. Special plants. I mean, submarines, but we have uh, <coughs> up-to-date ones already. Let's get the transport ship, always important to have. Military factories, uh, well, we can build quite modern tanks, so I wanna go for heavy tank construction. Then for sport equipment and artillery and motorized as well. Let's take a look here. Oh, we're even build building one battleship. I was saying that, I didn't take a look to our navy. 
well, which seems to be well, 58,000 unhealed people. That's not so strong as the British one, but still considerably strong, I would say. Let's say two, two, two. Okay, we can maybe get some more artillery. There we go. We need lots of more equipment, though. So let's unpause the game for one day, and now let's see what we need. We need uh, 10 oil. Let's go from the. So that's 10 oil and 17 steel. So 17 steel from the. Uh, oh, we can only get eight. We can only get eight. Yeah, we can't get any more steel. Therefore, we have a lack of steel, sadly. Well, resource wise, let's check. Well, we have rubber, rubber, and some steel, so we have to enact limited experts. Yeah, that's our goal. After we got fashions, of course. Well, saying that, time to check out our fleet. Our air force is quite decent. We have 1,000 planes in total, 1,000 planes. Uh, 300 in total, we have 600 fighters and 400 medium bombers. That's a nice air force, especially in the African theater, which we have. Our fleet has two battleships, six light cruisers, 47 destroyers, and 21 submarines. Being a really strong fleet, actually, considering the fact. One battleship here, two light cruisers, 31, 31 destroyers, and 53 submarines. Being really, really strong, to say the least. That's nice. Yeah, nevertheless, I will go for submarine production. Because you know my tactic of invade the British Isles. Then our army, well, we have 37, 37 divisions in total. That's, that's really nice. 37, they're gonna be sorted out soon. Let's go for the armament effort, actually construction effort. Construction effort will give us three uh, civilian factories in central Congo. Three in central Congo. And Italy, yeah, is of course winning against the Ethiopians. Rest in peace, Ethiopia. Then we get our fascist advisor, Alexander Williams. Higher ups may harbor unspoken sympathies. Well, uh, since all of your four ideologies are 25% already, you can choose whatever you want to get. You are currently not aligned, so you could like get really quick, democratic or communist or fascist, whatever you like. That's all within your choice, within your selection. So yeah, Kekistan. Let's celebrate out our army. The Spanish Civil War. Uh, uh, research complete. I'm gonna celebrate out my border controls. And then oh, let's build already. Let's maximize this out in all provinces. Then I would say. So there's nothing else to do. Construction effort 2, which will give us three civilian factories in Gaben. In Gaben, yeah. <laughs> Alright, then time to go for the Marvel Doctrine. Well, I'll go for the Thick Being, since why not after all? As well as for the DY Doctrine. Oh, I forgot about the industry. Well, next thing will be the industry then. On our plan. So let's see in Kyrgyzstan. We have let's separate out. Let's separate out the PPSS, PPSS regiments, PPSS regiment regiments. There we go. We have some nice PPSS divisions. In Italy won the war, of course, and then we have some armored peep divisions. Separate them out too. There we go. Now we have a somewhat organized army. Yeah, I wanna. Well, only seven base. That really doesn't take much. Therefore, well, playing it on recruit is simply so easy. Even world conquest as peep uh, shouldn't be a problem here, to be honest. We should not. That's so easy. Construction effort three, build three, civil factories. Yeah, more. We have thirty-one civilians already. So yeah, we. Well, actually, we are well industrial-wise stronger than the French. Our fleet is also stronger than the French. Since the British have to defend their own waters against the uh, well, possible German threat, we should <coughs> have now supremacy in Africa. That's really, really nice. Yeah, superb. Long live the Pakistani fleet. Come on, we are 32% fascists. I think next I will go for war in our time. Since, yeah, we want to go for war in our time, isn't it? Yeah, at the end of the Spanish Civil War. <coughs> Poor Spanish. Of course, the uh, Republicans lost, as always. Well, then, only 24 days for the army focus. That's, that's really nice, to say the least. If plus 16,000, we could need some army experience. Construction effort complete. Let's go for war in our time. One hour time, political power plus 150 against the national spirit collectivist ethos, which grants daily democracy uh, support minus 0.02%. Well, bad for the Democrats, then it would be. Yeah, let's go for uh, these kind of stuff. Fascist assault divisions. Well, let's carefully develop our industry. Come on, there we go. Uh, all booths are used, sadly. But still, 
I got these three first. Well, that's research already. That went surprisingly really, really quick. Alright, factory wise, yeah, I'm building three civilian ones in this province and two more in this one. Yeah. War in our time. Let's actually select. Well, I'm gonna save for war economy. And yeah, for the experts, let's say that our political power for this purpose. We can go for power and politics though. For the extra power gain. And there we go, war in our time. Now, well, fascism focus. Fascism focus, which will give us. Oh, well, actually, the fascists will become the ruling party if you take this. So let's go to the fascism focus. Look to that. Political power plus 150. Politics will change. Fascism becomes the ruling party. Public elections will, well, as price not be held. Against national spirit, fascism focus, which grants for daily fascism support, plus 0.2 acceptance of fascist diplomacy, plus 80. So, that's interesting. Well, let's get the name of Kekistan away. Since, well, who likes Kekistanis these days? Let's see, we have plus 26,000 infantry equipment. Therefore, let's... Well, our people division. Let's get some people, assault divisions. Let's actually, yeah, get them. I'll modify them later on. Get them in Gaben. I give them 26 people assault divisions. Okay, we should get fascists quite soon. I'm sorry for the others, but there we go. Fascist synthesizers in the military, but I don't want to do a coup. Coup d'etat. So let's yeah, wait. Oh, we have enough plenty power, so let's select the uh, 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 exchange of ideas. There we go. So after less than 10 days, P plant will become fascist. And one day, last days, and there we go, Aryan Peep. So Aryan Peep is leading, now what, we are still called Kekistan, which shouldn't be the case, I think. Alright, so now for one, one nation Peeps Reich, one nation. Uh, 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 let's see, National Unity Peep Engineering. Let's go for armament efforts. Construction to complete. Now let's go for... Uh, the Hindenburg disaster, or no, the humanity. But I want to get some marines, since I'm sure Germany won't attempt to invade the UK, we have to do that. So we have to get some superb marines for the invasion of the British mainland. Military theorist, and I can't go for noted experts, God damn it. We need higher, um, noted experts. Higher world tension. I think what, uh, for... It's not, we are not, one of the following. Oh, we need to go for partial mobilization, war economy. Okay, let's go for partial mobilization. Now we can go for limited experts. There we go. Now we shouldn't struggle with steel. Are we? No, we aren't. There we go. So plus a lot of chromium as well. And we can cancel our oil supply. Completely independent from other supplies. Superb, superb. Armament effort 2. And Amelia Island disappears. So, well, poor woman. Rest in peace. Then I want to get the highly mobile army. So let's get actually more motorized and more artillery as well. Uh, the French and the British Alliance, well, I'll join the other Commandant Pact. Well, that's quite early, they decided to unify quite early. Since I need the extra slots, I will go for that, I think. Yeah, let's go for that. So here, let's take uh, weapons and equipment, basic one. Factory-wise, yeah, we have no slots left. Therefore, let's see, where's our capital? Our capital is uh, here in Gaben, in this province. So. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build coastal forts on the uh, naval provinces. So in, let's build like twice there, twice, and also a coastal dockyard here in this province. Although where is Sao Tom? Oh there, well, that's interesting. So then let's build something everywhere. So since why not? I mean we cannot build anything else. Therefore let's go for that. Come on, no harm in it. Well said, now let's slow down the game and prepare our army already, I can't wait more, we have to take them down. Yeah, we could need more divisions though, and I don't like that we can fight in this desert here. It's always so disgusting. Well, our army ready themselves against the French. Let's get 11 ready against the French. At least 12 against the British, they will, well, push not towards the desert, because we know how deadly that is. Push towards Alexandria. There we go, like this. Nice path. There we get the peep, well, fascist peep uh, yellow. And you're gonna get peep yellow as well. Peep yellow color. 
Oh, the uh, general is completely not overpowered. We have, <laughs> oh, well, I didn't check that. We have P. Bain, level 9, with fast planner, offensive doctrine, and logistics wizard. We have Harambe, Harambe, offensive doctrine, thorough planner, logistics wizard. We have Rambo Peep with thorough planner, organization first, defensive doctrine. We have uh, Sturm Peep with commando, trickster. We have General Mr. Peep with commando. We have Uncommon Peep with commando, the Desert Fox. We have English Peep with commando, Panzer Leader. We have Urban Peep with Urban and River. Well, Peep Pine is level 9, so his attack is actually plus 45%. Plus 45%. So let's take, get Harambe. Harambe, Harambe, and Peep Pine to read our Peperino Theater. So the objective is called Peperino of the Pepium people. Pepium people are called Peperino. Yeah, Peperino, yeah. My more my division will be will have will become the goal to capture first the Belgian colonies and after that to push against uh, South Africa. My P border control, yeah, be able to garrison our uh, well naval dockyards here. There we go, garrison them thoroughly. Uh, yeah. Then our P border control, they are gonna do the job. Armor P division, I'm gonna control them by myself. They are gonna join the struggle against the Belgians and the South Africans, which is soon gonna come. I'll show you that. Let's go for Blitzkrieg, since we are fascists, we have to go for that. Uh, well, let's see, it's built really, really quick. We uh, fortified our entire lines kind of well. Now I can't do anything else. Well, I should have went for radar. Let's actually research for radar when I can. In the meanwhile, I have no clue what to build. Um, let's build the one anti-air in Gaben and in this province because I have nothing else to do. So next thing, I want to go for the research effort. So research effort, political power plus 150 against national spirit science boost, which grants research time minus 10%. Nuclear reactor construction speed plus 25%. So that's really, really nice as well. Uh, let's build some. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Medium bombers. Yeah. Okay. Let's get some medium bombers. So there we go. Alright, so that's nice. We have a good surface so of everything, so we are good to go for the war. The border control, the PSS regiment. So let's check. They're gonna get. Uh, Storm Peep and these Armor Peeps are gonna get Uncommon Peep and these five they're gonna get uh, Mr. Peep. There we go. The Pepperino Theater, our mighty navy is really really strong. Let's separate all the submarine ones, send them into Equatorial, Equ Equatorial Guinea. Yeah, that's actually okay. Not you, you're gonna stay there and tell our submarines to deploy uh, there as well. Oh, they can't. Okay, they can, you have to deploy there. Fine. That's our submarine base. Well, separate them out. Now, not the battleship. Okay, only the submarines. There we go. All submarines. Get them. And there. And these battleships, they go back to this province. Equatorial Guinea. You want to deploy there? Come on. Alright, that's nice. Yeah. Alright, so here, let's go to the subs, we have 107 submarines, let's create them in two uh, submarine squadrons. So we also have admirals, of course, we have Peep Spotter, Pepperino, GR and Peep Meister. Let's get uh, the best ones, Pepperino, SR, Junior and Peep Meister. I go free, see the factories. Yeah, let's speed up our game. Now, we, in that result, enough, our go for the war against the fascists. Against the army fascists, we are fascists against the democrats. Yeah. Although I have no hurry, but still, let's do this. Come on, war is on our shore and I still don't know what to build. And in our provinces, I guess, since I have nothing else to do, then let's... Yeah. There we go, just a war goal against the British Guyana out of mind. It's taking us, yeah, 215 days anyways. Research effort now go for one nation. One nation gains natural spirit. One nation which grants subversive activities cost minus 30%. Daily faction support plus 10. National unity plus 5%. Before we go to war, we're gonna select army offense. And then Peep Reich. Peep Reich stands united under Aryan Peep. What we do? Then hierarchy. 
as well as well we have quite a money here uh, let's go for infantry attack as well as army regrouping there we go use our power already i should enact a harsher manpower policy as well that's for sure okay these assault divisions they strike not into the desert the desert is always a bad idea let's check it's uh here there we go so here it's only i can't i see how much it is I can't see it in enemy levels, but this area is really, really bad, I think. Anyways, I'm not gonna focus on that, let's focus on these provinces first. Yeah, capturing them. So, bizarre as it may look like, it actually makes sense, but, but uh, fine. <laughs> Alright, these six Pepe SS regiment and the tanks are gonna be controlled by ourselves. Oh, we got actually some more people assault divisions, that's really nice for our war effort. It's really superb. Um, well, so let's use uh, 13 more against the British and... Um, actually, let's overkill, let's send 7 into the French area and then these uh, 13. They're gonna join our motorized corps, our uh, second army it was, I think, our sixth. Army 3, yeah, they're gonna join the motorized corps against the Belgians. We must ready the people for war, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Oh, we won't go to war with the Belgians yet, that's... I forgot. Well, let's justify against the Belgians too. There we go. The British should guarantee them, and how I said they did. Well, we are garrisoning our coastline thoroughly, and it's, well, really expanded as well. One nation, let's maximize out the infrastructure here, we're gonna strike the enemy, we have 76, 76 factories already. That's nice, let's go for a peeps, actually, uh, Pepe Land Engineering. Pepe Engineering, not at all German Engineering. International Spirit Pepe Land Engineering, which grants construction speed plus 15%, factory output plus 20%, got docket output plus 20% as well. That's, that's really nice to say the least, yeah, that's, that's nice. Let's maximize out our well naval base there, since I need to do something not to waste it. Let's get the, our naval doctrine, superbly researched, and Americans we're gonna boost here as well, we're gonna boost the British as well. And let's boost the Soviets as well, why not, you never know. Yeah, that's our goal, boosting every major except the fascist ones in the world. I was saying that, speeding our game up. Research complete, armor spirit complete. Uh, let's. That's nice. A better artillery, perhaps. Then also, well, a better fighter and better. Okay, we have a upgrade medium bomber. Then I would say, yeah, computing machine. And governmental wise, I would say time for extended conscription. There we go. 755,000 peep men are ready to fight and to die for the glorious Peep Reich. Now our name changed. Now we are called Peep Reich. Pape Reich. There we go. That's a better mine. Perhaps I should wait until the Germans are going to war. Uh, might be a good idea. Otherwise we might get to be the whole allied troops on our front, which we will still be able to beat, nevertheless. And Pape Reich joins. Okay, and what's our assault divisions? So they have to get proper engineer company and rigging company. There we go, equipment used, also one line of artillery. Okay, our experience is completely depleted, sadly. Uh, let's go for uh, Peep's uh, economic program. International Spirit Peep's economic program, which grants trade deal, opening factor plus 20-35%, factory repair speed plus 25% as well. That's nice. Well, I have a feeling we have enough uh, submarines. We have 107. They are still steadily getting deployed. No, they are in this province. 11 more. So, saying that, we can find a little bit more factories. Uh, 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 since we lack slots, I will go for military ones now. For military ones. Yep, military factories within the Beep Reich. Must rally behind this cause. Saying that, I think it's time to get some super battleships. Yeah, let's get battleship 2. Instead, we need heavy oil, but this shouldn't be a problem. Heavy oil, let's get 8 oil from the Soviets. And also uh, 3 chromium from the uh, Soviets as well. Yeah, the Soviets, our <laughs> friend. 
Yeah, and the Belgians, they sent their army already into Congo. I mean, I can't see them. Why should they defend Congo, please? They only have one factory, and in total, six rubber and two chromium here. This won't be really, well, any use to the uh, Belgians. But nevertheless, they still send kind of their entire army to this theater. That's the AI. It's doing well. It's not being that smart. Mostly, if it does something, you can't understand and can't follow it. Oh, German articulate one, Czechoslovakia. Of failed attempt on Hitler's life, a group of Wehrmacht officers tried to kill Hitler in the Sweden crisis. We can join the Axis already. Yeah, we join the Axis. Oh, we would be in war. That's nice. I'm gonna join the war now. Troops execute, kill the British and French and uh, Belgian here. Not Belgian yet, unfortunately. Well, saying that, let's go for uh, armament effort four. Yeah. Our army pushing and the Czechs surrendered. What's the naval invasion in sub Saharan Africa? Yeah, uh, the British. Well, our navy is gonna speak for themselves. They're gonna try, huh, try to invite. Good luck. Good luck. Let's get the best general, Pete Meister, actually, for extra naval hit chance. Patrol, the group of Guinea. There we go. Now we should be completely safe. Possible invasions. I said we should be safe. There we go. Carrier roll. Well, factories are built already. That went surprisingly quick. Really, really quick. Now, what should we build? We need. We simply need more slots, to say the least. Yeah, we need more slots. Well, uh, I, that's the problem. I don't know what to build. Um, let's build better naval base here. Yeah, let's build better naval base. Fighter three complete. Um, let's click. Yeah, let's use our air force for. Air superiority in the Central Africa, in Central Africa. That's fine, I can accept your division. So let's slow down the game speed since we are in war actually. And there we can see the British forces fighting all together. Probably together. An enemy has air let's attack, fine. I'm gonna take the hits with the infrastructure level as well, although it's a desert there. Yeah, I would say my main force should go not into the desert. Well, you know, <laughs> whatever, I don't care to be honest that much. And the Belgians, come on, soon we can go to war against Belgium as well. Yeah, where, where, please, where? In the group of Gune, how do they have air superiority there? Well, let's take air, okay, we have to send our plane there. Our medium bomber is gonna, uh, let's send our medium bomber actually into Germany. Westfalen, yeah. The same goes for our mini bomber here, so we can bomb the British main industry from there. Where does the enemy have in the sub Saharan desert? Mm. Well, I have no airbase ready to use, therefore, I will go to S Primacy in this region. There we go, at least our home region. And the Brits lost their submarine. Wow. Look at that victory. We only lost our we only lost our destroyer. The British they lost two battleships, one heavy cruiser, fourteen destroyers, and seven planes. Well that's complete accumulation for the British complete. Now what's well that? Our submarine force. Divide them peep race, you're gonna get peep spotter. You are going to go for convoy raiding. Well, it's quite close to the British theater. We can't uh raid the gap, sadly. That's the main problem. I wanted to raid the gap here, the Atlantic gap. Uh, that's a problem here. Yeah, my our plans got shattered for the submarine since they can't reach the area. And if I would send them there, it would be dead for them because it's too close to the British theater. And Germany declaring war everywhere, and Pete Reich just massively expanding. Oh, we need oil. Okay, the Soviets can't provide us with oil. The Americans can, though, I think. Yeah. Now the British, how can they even invade us if they have naval supremacy? Oh, we are fighting the British, that's why. There we go, HMS peep. Oh, what? So they kill, they are killing our destroyers? What's happening to our fleet? Come on! Uh, we killed one more battleship of them, there we go, that's worth it, that's completely worth it. Come on, we killed one battleship, I can take the loss with the destroyers. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Well, I don't know, but the British are concentrating their entire fleet, their entire fleet in this region, that's... Quite funny and quite interesting to say the least. Let's see, I'm not so smart from them, but if they want to go for it, they can. Yeah, thank god I got the less annoying research sound. 
then our subs will just stay there then. The Unable to do anything in mail battle, let's see. The British, they lost... The they, okay, Luxembourg, they lost two battleships, one carrier and two planes. We only lost one light cruiser, so that's nice. One... That's superb, superb. Who can start up us? Tell, who, uh, how are they even invading us? We are in the... Our, our fleet is repairing themselves, yeah, they, it's repairing themselves. Yeah, it's loud, they're repairing themselves. Well, I'm gonna tell our submarines to go for a uh, search and destroy in this region then. There we go. Search and destroy. Both of them search and destroy. There we go. Yeah. They should die quick. Now, next thing, dockyard effort for three now dockyards. We have a surplus of we have a good surplus of everything. I don't know what we actually need. We have simply so much of everything under us. Let's perhaps get more bombers against the British special cars. I uh, need one more oil, get it from the Americans, that's fine. Then let's go for war economy. Yeah, even better. And yeah, these units shouldn't fight there. They shouldn't fight in the theater. That's just killing ourselves, our troops. Massively. Uh, well, fine. Our units. I need to divide them up once more. Well, these 18. These 18. Let's assign them to this line. This line can stay open. I mean, this. This doesn't make sense. It's fine. Here. To capture all of the French colonies here. Aggressive. Then. I have to divide these troops. Uh, yeah. These 9 will. Actually, I could send them into this uh, theater as well, but for now they're gonna stay just here. Come on, when can we declare war against Belgium? How long is it taking? Ah, uh, still too long. Too long. Now remind them, our 18 divisions. Okay, that was faulty assigned there. They gonna push to that path for now. Yeah, push that way. There we go. Our tanks, we're not using our tanks. Yeah, we are waiting for the Belgian cars. Come on. Well, I should be just able to declare war against Belgium. Or well, the Germans should, but when we want something good to happen from the Germans, well, it's not happening. Well, the Pape Reich is standing together under our enemy. That's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah. Our cars is completely safe. The Gulf of Guinea completely safe hold by us. And look to that. Look to Liberia with their five divisions standing ready to strike. No, I don't think so. Okay, speed up the game. And France is capitulated. Well, we got 75% of their territories. That's nice. Well, Italy Italy got France. That's that's a nice thing. That's, that's interesting, to say the least. Quite well, we could even ask for control of the French territories. I think I'm gonna go for that. I'm gladly gonna take Ile de France, Centre, Centre Sud, Poitou, Equitania. They're, they're willing to give it all to us, except of that. Okay, there we go. Let's look to that. That's that's nice. We got. Well, I wanna check their territory first because we have to be smart. All right, they have no territory here, so I'm gonna give that to the Italians. Give them that these two provinces. Actually, I'm uh, far above my type, so I'm gonna take a cut here. I hope you like the spotlight of the peep Reich of peep land. Well, the peep land is a really strong country, a major power, you could say. Well, Africa will unify easily under the PPI's rule, uh, therefore I'm gonna take a cut here, so uh, thank you all for watching me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and to check out the model links down below in the description, and see you all next time. Goodbye, have a nice day to you all.